Hello. It's been a minute and this feels very weird to be recording a video after so long. Um, but hello, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Um, I don't film videos very often. Um, but if you have been here before, um, welcome back. Um, thank you for watching. And today's video is going to be a brief, I think. Um, and it's just about my spiritual evolution or spiritual changes that I've been going through. Um, most people know me as a Norse pagan. I've been Norse pagan, you know, more or less for almost 15 years now. Um, but over the past several months, I'd say even a year, it started to wane, um, about a year ago and just slowly and slowly, but surely, um, we've gone different routes. Um, I, I'm not giving up on Norse paganism completely. You know, it's always going to be a home base for me. It's always going to be um something i cherish uh because it's been such a big part of my life for so long but the gods went quiet um just that that taste for the 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 energy that norse paganism provides has waned um and it could come back in a, in a week it can come back in a month you know six months a year i don't know um, and I will welcome it back wholeheartedly um, if and when it does return. I tried to force it to keep going for a while um, by, you know, trying to read about Norse paganism, watch videos about Norse paganism, um, about Vikings and, you know, what have you. And it just, just wasn't sticking anymore. It just wasn't calling to me anymore. And out of the blue... I guess it's not out of the blue. I mean, there were whispers there, but um, when the Norse paganism sort of waned, what filled its place was Lilith, the goddess Lilith, the demon goddess Lilith. And this is completely um, new to me. Like this is a completely new path. Um, there's a lot I need to learn about um, about Lilith and her story and everything. Um, but she's coming through loud and clear. And so, yeah, like it's a completely different cosmology, you know? And so I'm so used to thinking in a Norse pagan cosmology and I've resisted anything that came out of an Abrahamic context. Cause I was like, I don't want to, I'm not Christian, I'm not Jewish, I'm not Muslim. Um, I don't have that history. I don't want to want my spirituality to be based on that. Like I had years ago looked into Luciferianism and Satanism and stuff like that. But I was like, I don't want my spirituality based on someone else's spirituality. Say so like, I'm going to believe in this because it's the opposite of what you believe. And I didn't like that concept. But Lilith comes out of a Sumerian and Jewish context. And so, yeah, it's, it's a big leap. And suddenly I am interested in fallen angels. This is new. Like I've never had an interest in angels whatsoever. None. Like I did, did not like angels. They didn't speak to me. Um, but fallen angels have suddenly piqued my interest. And um, so I'm gonna tentatively start looking into the archetypal energies of fallen angels to see what rings true to me. Um, so, but it's very much in the fledgling stages of this spiritual path. And I, I, I hope to make more videos on it. Um, we'll see, um, I, I don't know where this is going. I don't know where it's going to take me, um, but so far I've very much enjoyed it. So far I'm very much enjoying um, just a new a new spirituality, just something a new context, a new new flavor, new 
cosmology, new theologies, you know, so, so yeah, it's odd. It's, a, it's an odd shift and it's odd and radical shift that's happened for me. And like I said, um, if Norse paganism calls to me again, I will be there at its door. Um, but right now, Lilith wants me to work with her alone. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so we'll see what she has to say to me and uh, what she brings to my life. And so, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for this video. I'm going to make another one about the decks I'm going to be using this month in my, my basket. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. And I'm also going to be on Indigo Jaguar's channel on, I think it's the 18th, Monday the 18th. Um, we'll be talking about Lilith. So if you want to tune in for that, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, it, I, it'd be great to have you. So bye.